15 Yamaha G29. Problem is, when you back off the throttle, it clunks. It's got a clunking noise. So we'll see if I can get you to hear it on video. I'm going to remove the seat and they just clip off like so. And I'm going to depress the throttle. See if you can hear the clunking noise as I back off. You'll hear a click. That's only the solenoid cutting in. See if you can hear it clunking when I back off. A bit clunking. There. Very simple fix. Let's crack one. Get into it. Now, to repair the clunking, it's an input shaft bumper is what we're going to replace here. And I'll show you. You can actually do it without removing the motor. And I'll show you how you do that. Now, we're actually going to do some other jobs here as well. So I am going to remove the motor. There's the electric motor there. There's three 10 mil bolts. And you've got to remove the top cover at the back, which I'll show you in a second. You can actually remove those bolts, slide the motor that way. Um, balance it and get to the input shaft bumper without removing any of the wiring, without undoing anything. Bearing in mind, it'll be hanging, so you've got to prop something under a jack stand or which under, so this, this doesn't hang all of its weight off the wires, which is up there. But as I said, we're going to remove the motor because I'm doing some other um, maintenance as well. Uh, yep, yeah, right, that's enough talking, let's get into it. First thing is to remove these clips so you can get to the wiring um, of the electric motor. So next thing is 10 mil there, 13 mil there. Remove all those wires. Don't forget this guy. That's the speed sensor, unplug that. Once you've undone them, just bear in mind, they're labeled, they're all got labels on them. When they're going back on, don't mess it up. Okay, so once the wires are off, speed sensor is disconnected. You've now got three 10 mil bolts, one at the top, two from underneath. So whip them out. Righto, motor's out. Let's get up on the bench and get into it. Now, if we're just replacing the input shaft bumper, it is right there. That's all it is. A little bit of rubber. As it wears down, what happens and what the noise is, is, I don't know if you can see that properly. See that movement? Because that's worn down, the input shaft, um, it, it allows movement from the female section of the armature of the motor. And the movement up here causes that noise. New input shaft bumper looks like this. Or if you don't have a new bumper, you can put a five cent piece behind it. So put your five cent piece in there then put your bumper back in and that spaces the bumper out and you'll get another I don't know, a couple of years or so out of it. But they're, they're cheap, they're like $3 each or something. I get them in a bag of 10, very common uh, G29 issue. little things as you're going back together physically read on the cables make sure you don't mess that up and plug in your speed sensor different models will react different ways if you don't plug that in some just won't run others will go flat out um, but long term it's not great it's there for a reason 
Don't forget to cable tie this guy. And when you're doing these bolts up, I'll show you one underneath. Don't fall into this trap, which I've done this a few times. When you're under here, putting it back in, don't try and put it in there. You'll be there trying to get it in for hours. It's the one above there. That one has no thread. All right, we're almost done. We'll put it back together. Oh, <laughs>